First of all, uh, welcome family and friends of uh, Masafumi and Robert. Did I say that correct? Yes. Um, welcome to the Stockton Police Department. It's a pleasure to have you guys here with us today. Um, it's always a good day when we're welcoming new personnel to the Stockton Police family and we're able to swear in new officers. So uh, this is a good thing, and uh, thank you for being here. Uh, first of all, the chief is unable to be here today. He's on his way back, actually, from San Diego, so um, he, he should be here later. But this is something that the chief always wants to be present for. Um, he absolutely will do anything he can to, to make sure he is here for that. He's um, selfish about that, as he should be. And so it definitely is a privilege and an honor for me to be able to swear in uh, our new officers today. So I'm looking forward to this. By way of introduction, my name is Rick Salcido. I'm one of the deputy chiefs of police here at the Stockton Police Department. Um, the other deputy chief is Trevor Womack right here. He's my partner. Um, and uh, so with that, let us get into the introductions of our new officers. First of all, right to, uh, to my left here is Masafumi Yamamoto. Masafumi is uh, being hired as a police officer and today or after today, he'll be reporting to Field Services Division and that's under the command of Captain Scott Metters. And I'll say Scott Metters for every time I swear in somebody or we swear in somebody, they report to field services, which is under Scott Metters' command. So Scott, why don't you put your hand up so everybody knows who you are? Thanks. Um, so Masafumi graduated from the South Bay Regional Police Academy in San Jose in December of 2012. And then prior to coming to the Stockton Police Department, he was employed with Creative Security Company in San Jose as a security officer. Uh, Masafumi also earned his bachelor's degree in economics from UC Davis. Now, next to Masafumi, we have Robert Perales. Robert also will be reporting to field services um, after today. Uh, again, reporting to Captain Metters. Robert graduated from the Hanford Police Academy, and that's located at the College of the Sequoias, and he graduated in January of 2013. And then prior to coming to the Stockton Police Department, Robert served in the United States Marine Corps for four years. So we appreciate your service in the Marine Corps and we look forward to you serving here. Well, uh, these young men, they've graduated a police academy and that's, that's the place where they're molded into what being a police officer is all about. But now they're gonna be hitting the streets with a field training officer. And then that's the place where they're gonna be, they're gonna be refined. And that's where they're going to be chiseled into the kind of police officer that you have to be in order to be safe and to be effective in the streets. And that's what we look forward to, uh, to them being. And before I uh, swear them in, I just want to, uh, I want to read something. When I swear, after we swear them in, we'll present them with their badges. And the badge has some special meaning. And so I want to read uh, something that the chief has, and he typically reads. And it's called the badge. It's written by a retired chief of police. And it's just to, to uh, describe the meaning of the police badge. This is your badge. It is lifeless, made of metal. A die has stamped it from rough stock, shaped it in traditional design, and inscribed the word police. It has been plated and polished, sold for profit. Now it is yours. It is a symbol of Americanism. It is law, order, justice, and freedom. It is the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, e pluribus unum, the Pledge of Allegiance. The badge lives. It is a courageous defender, brave, noble, wise, and strong. It laughs and cries, knows fear and tragedy. It represents fairness, honesty, dependability. Possession of it transforms you from citizen to sentinel, guardian of the safety and welfare of others. Display it with dignity, wear it with pride, stand tall behind it, defend its principles, emulate the qualities it represents, treasure it, polish it, keep it gleaming. The reflection of the badge is one of hope, peace, and security. Respect the badge and others will too. So now we're going to swear you in. So just kind of look toward me and... Uh, then raise your right hand. Actually, can you just take a little bit of a step back, Robert? Does that work? You want them angled a little bit, or is that all right? All right, so all for photo purposes. <laughs> okay, if you could uh, raise your right hand and then repeat after me. I state your name. I am Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. 
that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, against all enemies foreign and domestic, against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States, to the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully, and that I will well and faithfully, discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. Discharge the duties on which I'm about to enter. All right, congratulations, gentlemen. All right, let me give you these as well. These are your hat badges. Show your hat. And then I'm also going to give, uh, we have these certificate of appointments uh, that just commemorate this event. It's got the seal of the, the city and the signatures of the police chief. Okay, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Let me just say this, family and friends, uh, we're gonna take good care of your loved ones. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna give them the best training and the best teaching that we possibly can so that they're safe and productive officers. But there is something that, or there are several things that you folks can do as their support. And, uh, and so after we're done here, we're going to, uh, we're gonna congratulate the officers. We'll have a time where we can take some pictures and whatnot in this room. Uh, but then when we're done, we're going to have the fa fa family and friends separately meet with the officer with a couple spouses of ours. And that's just to, to talk about some of the things you as family can do to support them throughout their training and their career. So take advantage of that opportunity. You'll meet in the Chief's Conference Room. And the people you'll be meeting with um, are Captain Metter's wife, Vicki. Raise your hand, Vicki. And then my wife, Stephanie, is next to her. Um, so that's who you'll meet with. So what we'll do uh, now, we'll wrap it up. And the, what we like to do when we wrap it up is to congratulate you folks for being here and joining the team. And the way we do that is you just stay right there and uh, look good. And we're going to come through and shake your hands. So congratulations and thank you for being here.